Did you really this show of might? Yeah. Actually, uh, Pastor, if you see anyone showing a lot of might, mm. they are not leaders. There's something they are hiding. Oh. You see, a leader, most leaders, just check even in the world, even in this country, most people who are great leaders are very simple. Mm. Look at any leader that you know was great. Mm. In fact, let's look at the Bible since we are... We, 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 we are also, also in a church. You know, we are also, in, yeah. we are also Christians. Look at Moses. Moses did not even know how to speak in his own, uh, in his own, uh, he even said himself he's not good at speaking. Uh, yes. Exactly. Yeah. He said that. But you see, there's something God had seen in this man and he let the children of Israel out. He did it. Because you see, in, you, in leadership, you don't have to show might. Mm. You just need to be able to inspire people. Mm. That is why you, fi you even find a small girl say something and people listen and even uh, the crowd is moved because mm. they are inspiring. Mm. But there are people who will come and talk for hours. Mm. And therefore, we don't need the shenanigans of people, yeah. you know, uh, passing everywhere. And, uh, you know, in fact, I really don't like that, by the way. I people putting it. people at the side as if I did not contribute to the making of the road. Yeah. You know, so those are not leaders. Those are just proud uh, people who mm. hold positions mm. because at the end of the day that they, is now positional that, that's leadership positional leadership you're yes. using coercive power mm. you are using to intimidate or, people exactly and to authority. beat people into you know, lying you know it's like someone saying yeah. you know let me tell you uh pastor do you need in your house to tell your children that you are their father if I do that, then I may not be their father. Correct. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so yeah. if you've got to tell us that mm. I am this and this, I am mm. this and this, mm. then you are, there's something wrong. Wow. Because people know you. Mm. If you are a leader, you mm. don't need to tell anybody who you are. Wow. We know. Wow. Yeah. wow. Where have leaders left the masses? Where are we? Mm. Here in Kenya or in East Africa or in Africa? Because leaders have been leading all this time. Where has leadership left the masses? Where are we, Dr. Ari? Thank you very much. Um, for me, my opinion is that uh, the leaders are on their own. <laughs> oh. The masses are on their own. Really? In other words, the leaders do not understand what is on the ground whether mm. it is at the national level whether it's at the county level whether it's even sometimes even the churches sometimes sometimes yeah the basically the leaders do not seem to understand what is going on in the ground and that's why young people say now that i did with young people mambo kwa ground different yes yeah because if you, if you look at what our leaders are doing mm. at the moment yeah. and what is on the ground, <clears throat> mm. in my view, they totally have lost it. Mm. They totally don't understand mm. what is going. Why do I say that, uh, Pastor? Yes, yes. If for, exa for example, where COVID has become uh, very, very bad every day, like especially this wave, mm. from what we are seeing in the news, things are really bad. Mm. And Pastor, you have seen leaders holding political rallies. Mm. You have seen leaders moving around mm. and with the masses. Yeah. And the same leaders come later and tell us, hey, you need to wear oh, your mask. You need to avoid. Protocols. Uh -huh. yeah. they, they even close churches. But they are still in politics. What yes. does that tell you? Mm. They totally have lost it. They mm. totally don't understand what leadership is all about. Yeah. Because how on earth would your people be going through what we are going through right now? And the only thing you can do is go and politic. Wow. I mean, mm, what, mm, what exactly mm, are you saying? Mm, so for me, mm, um, the, the leadership has lost it. They mm, need to come back to their senses mm, and get to know what do the masses want. The other thing I would want to say, uh, Pastor, is that yeah. a good leader should always be, they should always interact. As I said when we started, uh, leadership as a process is that interaction between the leader and the follower. Mm, mm. So the leaders need to come back to the Mwanaiji and ask them, yeah. what is it mm. that you want us to do? You see, you don't go and, uh, I would say, you don't rule from the ivory tower. And I mm. think that's what our leaders are doing yeah. at all levels. Yeah. They rule from the ivory tower where they, you know, they put themselves in there mm. and 
they pretend to no make decisions that are affecting the person down there. Mm. If you're ruling from Ivory Tower, mm. either, which is uh, the truth, mm. many people who rule from Ivory Tower, they're either incompetent mm -hmm. or insecure. Oh. So, in my view, they are ruling from up there, mm. and they think that the electorate is not wise, or maybe they don't care, mm. and they are making decisions up there on mm. behalf of the electorate, mm. not only in government, in many areas, in even many in areas. organizations. Yes, yes. You find people, you find the CEO just sit somewhere, mm. and they just call the managers, they have a chat, mm. and they make a decision. Mm -hmm. We need what we would call participative leadership. Yes. You need to come down, mm. ask the masses, what exactly do you want us to do for you? Mm. 